what's going on everybody welcome if, you, if you're looking for the rev giveaway you found it you nailed it 10 out of 10. my name is robert baker if you're not familiar with my channel here on the on the internet and uh we are going to be giving away me and rev a 100r or 100p you actually get to choose it it's going to be super simple and we thought we would tie it in with a lesson video so i'm going to show you guys a lick and then mr tubbs is going to tubify it and uh, make it a lot cooler and make it sound outside. Now, if you wanna enter the giveaway, it is mad easy. All you have to do is one, subscribe to my channel. All the links will be down below for you. You have to subscribe to the Rev channel, which if you're watching this video, you probably already are. And then you have to leave a comment down below on this video and just tell me who is your favorite outside player, either a player who you think just does things a little bit differently, or maybe they incorporate a lot of those outside lines. Now, you also have to leave a comment on my video. So four real quick steps. You could probably do the whole process in, I don't know, 20 seconds. Uh, and just leave the same comment on my video. You know, what, who's your favorite outside player? You can pick a different player if you want to, but um, just leave those comments. And then all you have to do is subscribe to both channels and you could win. It's open worldwide. Uh, anyone can win it. These are incredible new amps with the Two Notes technology all that jazz, check out their videos if you want to, you know, really know the, the nitty gritty details about the amps. But let's get to the lick. I'm gonna show you guys a lick and then Tubbs is gonna, Tubbs is gonna nerd it up. Now I forgot and unhooked the 100P. I was gonna use it in this video. So I'm actually using the G20, which I've been digging on the G20 a lot more lately. Uh, it's just such a cool little amp and I have it running into Logic. Uh, the delay you're hearing is just the, you know, stock delay that comes in Logic. But um, that's gonna be it for the tones. I mean, I mean Les Paul into the G20 bit of delay actually uh, more than a bit it's like a full-size serving of delay because that's i don't know that's just how i do it <laughs> So there you have, like I said, it's a pretty straightforward pentatonic. Uh, it's just mixing minor and major pentatonic together with a little bit of a add 11 chord shape in here. But overall, it's, it's basically just pentatonic moving in fours. So what I'm doing here is I'm starting off, you know, on your major six, uh, I'm, I'm just thinking E minor, kind of box one and two and trying to combine them together. So you do a little bit of a half step bend on 14 on the B. Okay, then I go back to 12 on the high E string. Then I grab 15 on the B. So just that little move there is kind of a cool little rock and roll lick. Okay, so if you have to you just practice that. Now what I do is I reach all the way up here to 17. And like I said, I'm kind of viewing this as being box two. Now I'm I'm trying to reach and combine the two boxes. That makes it not sound so boxy. <laughs> so reaching all up here to 17, I do a pull off. And I'll talk about my picking here in just a second, because I am picking in a particular way. Uh, pull off that 17 to 12, and I grab 15 on the B, and then uh, 16 on the G. So, okay, so. Now, that's a four, so listen. So, one, two, three, four. Now, I do another four sequence here. I go back to 12 on the high E string, 15, and then 16, and I pull off to 12. So, you have. Which I like that sound a lot. It has like a falling sound. It's probably very, um, probably Eric Johnson influenced, at least from me. And uh, it, it has this rolling kind of aspect too. Now what happens is I shift and I, and I try to incorporate, like I said, switching between major and minor involved in this. So what happens is I, ha I shift back here and I'm kind of viewing it as, in, in my opinion, box one, major, and box two. So I go like this. And this is that add 11 chord shape I was talking about. So if you're not familiar, I, I really recommend incorporating things like sus twos, uh, do your sus fours, your add nines. All, the, all those shapes are really convenient whenever you're trying to bridge the gap between minor and major. So um, at least that's the way that I like to use them. So what happens is I do that first part. Okay. Now I shift back here in kind of a big stretch. I'm gonna go 15 and I'm pulling off to 10. Okay, and then I go to uh, 13 on the G, 14 on the D. So there's that add 11 shape. Or at least I think it's an add 11. Okay, right there. One, two, three, four. I'm still just, I'm falling in fours is really the way that it's working for me. Okay, now I, re I kinda like do the same thing I was doing before in the minor version, but I keep it major. So I'm gonna go back to that 10, 13, 
14, and then 12 on the D is the new note. Okay? Got it? Then you're gonna go 14 on the D. And I ascend back through my pentatonic scale, but it's almost like a three note per string version at this point, is the way I'm kind of, I'm viewing it. I'm still doing it in fours, but I'm, I'm doing one note on one string, three notes on the next, one note, three. So it's just a, a way of breaking up fours. So I, that 14 on the D is where this uh, next run starts. And I'm gonna go 12, 14, 16. 15 on the B. 12, 15, 17 on the high string. Back to 12. So that little... Right there. That's the end of the lick. So all together slow, it would go like this. Now I do a lot of uh, kind of like sweet picking ideas through it or economy picking, however you're kind of viewing it. So when I'm doing these, the reason I'm doing these pull-offs is because I get to keep my picking all the same. Look, I do a pull-off. I go 17, pull off to 12, and up. I don't know why the word. I don't know why I said the word pull-off so many times there. <laughs> pull-off, pull-off, pull-off. But look, I go pick, pull-off, up, up. But my picking is all up. Okay, up, 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 pull-off. So, so it's it's a nice way of kind of utilizing either hammer-on or pull-off and get to use just the same picking. So it's like a sweep for me. And you can go faster if you, you know, through it if you want to do. And I, I kind of do a kind of picking there. Yeah, I'm going down, up, down, no, I go down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up. All that sweet stuff. Now, let's let Tubbs really show us how it's done. He's gonna make it a lot cooler and do his thing because that's just what Tubbs does. It, that, that's his thing. He makes things cooler. All right, take it away, man. Hey, Rob, that's a very cool lick. Um, it took me a second to actually get it under my fingers so I could uh, tweak it because there's a lot of shapes in there that I don't uh, normally use and there's patterns that I don't play as much. So it's, it's a really uh, cool uh, lick, but let me uh, show you how I tweaked it. Um, the majority of it is still uh, yours. I've just tweaked a little bit uh, here and there. So I just tweaked like a couple shapes. So here's uh, what I kept was everything uh, you did at the top. And, and um, for you uh, that are uh, viewing, with this lick, I'm not gonna teach you Rob's lick because you did such a great job. And the majority of what I'm doing uh, at the top of this is the same exact riff, or I should say lick, but I'll, I'll show you where I changed it. So I'll play it really slow. So I changed the back half of it uh, quite a bit. Here's one more time slow. So at the top of it, it's uh, everything uh, that Rob uh, played. So uh, these uh, shapes, That's all the exact same riff, or I should say lick, uh, as, as Robert or, or pattern. Um, and even where uh, Robert did this, that's where I kind of tweaked it. I did this. So what it gives me is a bit of an outside tonality. I get a flat five. The nine is inside and I get uh, my dominant seventh tonality because I'm really sticking to more of a dominant seventh tonality. Uh, Rob was doing more of a, a major minor thing, which was really cool. This is more what you would play over like a straight deal, you know, a dominant seven, like E dominant seven. So uh, that's once again in this shape. 
that's the new shape. And then I went up to this, uh, which is really just doing... Um, it's really just playing, you know, in this shape. But what I did is after we did this one, then I went up and played another set of four, and this is what I played. There's nothing outside there. So you've got six, five, three, and then a six on the bottom. But the two together has this cool outside thing that happens just for a minute. And that's a fun one, you know, uh, if you guys just want to screw around with just that. Um, uh, so that's the, the you know, kind of outside part. And then the rest of it is more Eric Johnson-y. So, uh, whereas Rob did a... Uh, um, that sounds killer too, I just wanted to change it up. So try that out. And see if you dig it. And then, you know, take uh, the way Rob starts it and maybe mess with that. I mean, you can, you know, that's the cool thing about learning other people's uh, licks and then doing your own tweaks is, is that stuff I would not have played, that, this kind of thing, I don't really do that. And this, so I ended up writing or composing a completely new lick just by listening to uh, a great player like Robert uh, and, and just kind of vibe off of what he was coming up with and just tweak on it. So there you go, guys. Uh, Thanks so much for watching. Uh, good luck with the contest. That's such a killer uh, giveaway. Those are fabulous amps. So just do those four steps that uh, Rob mentioned and we will see you next time.